Welcome to Thursday's City Skylines. Gotta remember to turn this on now. I am your host Palpatine001 and in the background you can hear Mini Palpatine having a go. Who should be in bed? The naughty pa Mini Palpatine. So tonight we continue with our new map. This is it here. So we got the power station done, a toll lane done, water done, and we're now getting the infrastructure done. So we are in the middle of working out rail, because rail doesn't come to the main island. And it's going to become a very big bugbear. So what we will do, let's get the cargo sorted. Uh, this one. So if we do this. Just do that, get this set up. Okay, so get that set up. So this time we will run. I see New Zealand people and I see Daniloff. It's a double cargo because we're going to run Indra City cargo as well. So this is going to be very interesting to run. Okay. So we'll keep Indra City on. Now how's Daniloff this evening anyway? No snow. So what we will do so what I am gonna do is I am gonna do this and we're gonna go up four meters no we're not we're gonna keep this at two meters this gonna let me run up. Yep. So if run across. Then run a bridge. Then should be able to. Now the question is. Is that going to be. It's technically not high enough. Okay. So what we'll need to do <laughs> cover the <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to an average stream with Palpatine. Oh Hello son. He's decided to get himself up anyway. Okay, so what we need to do is dun dun Let's get the ferry line put in now. Okay, let's take this out and then work out the bridge. So work backwards. And the boys are not on, so this is going to be a little bit interesting. There it is. OK, 
Okay. So can we go down to eight? So the answer to that is yes. Now, so that should come up very nicely like that. Hey Johnny Forbidden, how are you this evening? Hope all is well. We're in the middle of building our new city. We're just getting a... Oh, crap, okay. I think that... Oh no, the pillars are just... Okay, so drop down to four. Now, I think this one's going to need to arc slightly. Okay. Then we can go back to... Raised bridge. Yep, and then back to... Drop to two. Uh, where is this, by the way? It's there. And we have to come all the way across to there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's that done. I technically could smooth them, which I might do in a minute. Now, where is that railway line? There. Okay, so that's there. So what we need to do... Yeah, otherwise we can't get the shipping through. So that is... Uh, it's a bridge. Shit, is it a 30 meter? Oh, well, wow. okay. Wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, it's a 30 meter, all right. Ah, oh, because it's taking, yeah, I know why. be a very interesting one to drop. Oh. Do I have to do this again? No. Oh. Okay, so keep it as a viaduct. Mom. So drop. Mom. Mom. Prop anarchy is off. Meanwhile, the real logistics of that berm have had a fortune in... Yes. Okay, hang on, there's this...
Ooh, let me just. One more save again. Success! Hey! We've got one side connected. So this is for the intercity this is for the intercity freight. And I think for that one that's just gonna be a, end up being a tunnel. Because I'm gonna be a little bit particularly uh No, it actually allows me to do it. Now I will duplicate the interest city at the same time in one particular area, otherwise we're going to have um, slight problems. Uh, that's a bridge. Yeah. Alright. Derp the bridge. It's technically elevated. Uh, this is where it gets a bit fun. Now that's that's only a set of lows, isn't it? Where is that one? There. Okay. So back around. Okay, and that can come back down as elevated. Oh. Where's that railway connection? Right there. Okay, move it. Okay, so that side is done. Okay, I need to... I need to do the other side, otherwise... Because this is the interest city. So the difference between interest city and um, interest cities, one will handle bringing cargo from outside the map, one will handle moving the cargo around between the seaport and the industries. Okay, now this is going to be fun to do. Because I can't have the pillars out of sync. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that done. Is that bit out of a line? Was that? Oh. I can hear miss the rattles with the keys. You really need to turn that one off too. Oh, I need to turn that off because the face cam is on. Oh, I'll need to go into chat while in a minute. Evening, Jumanji. How are you this? How are you this evening? Hope all is well. Welcome to the stream. I will even these up later. Mom. I think that's coming up a bit steeper, so. Or is that just higher? I think that's because it's a bit actually a bit higher. Not that I'm particularly fussed, it's just... Slightly lower, I believe. Just a little bit, so I'll jack those up later. As long as it doesn't interfere with the fairy line, which it shouldn't. Anarchy is off, so um, I need that to come round. So we're just building the cargo. Uh, rail hub, uh, rail lines at the moment. Uh, technically, one's also going to be passenger as well, so. Let's bring that to there. And then, let's elevate it again. Okay, so. need to do some adjustments on these lines. Yeah, it looks like just as good as Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. That's too high, so that comes down. Not that far down. Okay, so that's that done. Now these are also picking up into city as well. Train passengers. So I should be able to. I could do. It's just me being particular and not doing it. Please have it as running parallel. That have to be one of the more interesting ones tonight. Anarchy is off, isn't it? Yep. Okay. 
and we've got set that side to do as well. So I need to come back here. The reason why these are a slight distance away at the moment. Okay. Let's try that again. It's not the most accurate representation, but that's a folly of the rails. So where is that road there? Now, it's a case of do I want to do that or not? Or is that going to be the wrong road to drop it on? Because now I've got to think of my road hierarchies. Evening for those who have joined us. Welcome to City Skylines. I'm Palpatine001, aka The Senate, and we are working out our infrastructure for this evening. Okay, so we want nothing on that road because it's going to be a main thoroughfare, so it's fine. That just now leaves the situation of running, how big is that roundabout? A decent solder. So let's run, oh, before I even do that, first of all, let's take a save and then I'm going to run the simulator. Because what's happened is I've built landmass over water, and you get the classic case of the floody flood. So we have to eliminate that out. But you can start to see the bare bones of the city taking effect. You can see the roundabouts, the main roads uh, going in. It's taken the save. Great. Good news is, is this is infinitely expandable, this, so. Yeah, floody flood. Gonna cause a wee Alright. Yeah, I know that's complaining about no power, it's a case of tough luck. The good news is I can extend this again if I need to, and the ferry line's in position. So what we need to work out next, so that's the cargo hub. So that means for this part of the exercise I should be able to just run. Uh, National Highway. And do it right.
Okay, so that's the National Highway sit down. Which is essentially going to become a freightway. Although, if I do this properly. Eee, you got to make sure this is not going to play up. 150, thank you. Okay, so we're going to have to do a lot of work. Hey, Pirate, how are you? Hope all is well. So that becomes the freightway. So now I'll just go back into here, get it set up properly. So give them a long run. And then we should be able to use... I've just got to realize that you've got to be careful. This is not set for four lanes. So I've got to bear that in mind as well. So now I've got to work out what I'm trying to achieve here. Now the catch is if I do I put another interchange down here or not. That could be worked out closer to the time, so I just need to rem and because they would also connect there. Because the primary entrance is in there, and we've got a secondary entrance up there. And then you've got of course a bypass road. So you've got two bypass roads beyond that so that's the freightway sorted okay so what are we looking at unfortunately these roundabouts are very very small i could in theory make that a one way in fact i think the theory is going to be I see what you mean. I've had no problems with these the my traditional turning bays in the in the past. If I have backed the traffic up, it's more through inefficient movement then. I suppose I could run about that out. And then have another one come back across. We'll see how that goes. It's um Not important yet because I haven't done that. Okay, so that is there. So the city center is going to be up in this area here. So the easiest way to define that is find. Do, do, do. Okay, so there's a terminal there. Okay, it might be a bit silly placing that now, but it's going to tell me where the downtown's going to go. Okay, so that will be right in bringing heavy rail down. So I need an intercity train station close by to the harbour, but not so close it's going to overwhelm everything at once. So what we will do is I might run... could run two so the second one would be up there and the first one's up there so the best way to run this is what's the node set up something absolutely hideous absolutely oh, I don't want to brace no, I haven't. No. I saw that other little town planner one where you build on this water, water and you build these little ex land extensions. The old days of SimCity Classic, if I remember it properly. I am going to have to do bracing and I don't want to do... Oh, for Pete's sakes. No. Okay. 
Where's that harbour there? Okay, so I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll run him. So we've got a rail, a heavy railway nearby. Yes, I ha uh, no. So the main games at the moment that I've played over the last few years is Stellaris, City Skylines, uh, Survive in the Aftermath, Civ and Civ 6. I am going to do... Probably dirt road this out for a second. Okay, so that's that in position. And that's in position. So now that allows me to go... So that forms that one. So there will be two. One there and one up top. So... Dun, dun, dun. So that's the first one. Oh crap, did you build it the wrong way around? Yes, you did. So the skinnier one is. So I believe that's the metro on the outside. Yeah, it is too. Um, not desirable. Do that again. So... Ooh, interesting if you've got links to them post them in the discord and then I will take a look at them later tonight or tomorrow morning Sorry, I'm here. Airborne Kingdom. Ooh, this is it. Yeah, posted in the Discord, and I will definitely uh, take a a look at it. That's the right way around. Is that not 90 degrees? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's one. And then we'll go for this. There's a little bit of method to the madness on this, so. So, and then we'll drop the second one. Now, the metro's on the inside for a good reason. That's the second one. Now the heavy rail ends there. 
The metro does not. But it's not the primary... Not the primary... Won't be the primary... Um, That's going to become a very good point. I'm going to have to raise them. Hmm. Think, think, think. So the problem is you don't want to back up your intercity stations because they all come into one place. Because the other... Uh, wrong one. So, metro intercity... Bus intercity... Uh, bus Metro, Bus Intercity Bus. It's depending on how I want to run because they Metro is going to be bringing in. Yeah, and I have an idea how this is going to be done. Yep, yeah. definitely have an idea how this is going to be done. So definitely want. That's not funny. Cute. Okay, so they're there. So keep him clear. So we can bring them up. So go back to this one. at minus two. Three lane. Nice 80. Oh, that did a nice length. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. So now we can bend him around. Now what's the node set up? Oh, perfect. There are some days where you do want to just slow that traffic down. So I might bring that one. I think that might have slightly kinked. Nothing major. So let's brought him into there. Okay. Wrong one. Ah, uh, whoa. So that's all on slips, except for that one. Okay, so we've got a double metro. Which I'm going to possibly sink underground. It's going to be funny sinking that underground. Hmm. Ponder, ponder, ponder. 
or not to sink it underground and run it elsewhere. So that one will run. Because that's going to connect back to the mainland. So we're running him. Probably down here and across. This one, the second one would run that way. And across this one would then come down probably terminate here that one would run across and probably terminate at the airport which I would place over there and the rest is gonna have to be backed up by tram or I might use the trolley bus this time around So if I remember how the inner cities are done, uh, sorry, how the one thing that I can do straight away is So that's got that done and then we can bring him over so basically any um, yeah I thought that was out of a line quite badly that too that's badly out of a line okay that's just Again, I thought that was badly out of a line. Okay, so. Well, that's better. I don't know what that was up with that earlier. Oh, no, keep that there because I'll run the rail under. Whoops. So that just tells me I need to run the route under. Metro. Okay. So what I've got to watch is don't fall into the trap of one way in, one way out. I've been caught too many times by that. And it becomes... Slightly annoying. Prop Anarchy is still off. Oh, if that's going to run parallel, that's sweet. Okay, so there's him. Okay. So now it's the transport interchange. And remember, no so we'll run him down. Okay, so that's that in. Got the main arterial. Where's that node? There. That runs very nicely to go. Okay, so run him down there. What's the node set up for this? Ah. Fine, whatever. It's not right. So come up a bit more. So that's that done. 
and that is not actually held as a bus lane well yes it is but it would be It just allows... Oh, the buttercly, though. Yeah, because you... Cheat. you know what? I might drop that too. Those don't work in order time. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, see, they don't work. Okay, what we'll just switch back over... Or we go to Yeah, see these are so badly out of a line. Do I have that one available? Yeah, I do actually. Double turning lane. Still looks completely out of whack, though. I'll hold it for now, and we'll see what we can do. So that's there, that's there, that's there. So I don't want one way in, one way out. And that gets me caught every single time, and it annoys me. Okay, so that's so it's there. So if we can work out what to do with. Ten. Doesn't that suck? Um, I can control that, so that's a... So how to do that one is go trees, what are on small beach? None. Funny. Smart ass game. Okay, well, I gotta behave, are we? That is the funniest looking nun I've ever seen. not responding to the distancing meters which is like well that's annoying I suppose the other way to fix it is go ha yeah the problem is it looks then buttergly down the Um, okay. Hmm. So we're in the guts of the main city center now. You don't have anything on that, so we need the main. Uh, how big is it? So I want the um, fours. Yep. 
I want the depths at 21 meters respectively. I want the lengths at 176. Okay, and so they come off on that angle. So what we do is we set the road again a one way. And a two lane should be sufficient for this one. Uh, drop down. Two. Should be. I'll go one back because it's easy to back fill with. So that goes there. So we're doing the, the core of the city center now. And the good news is I can get use, use the new mixed zones that I've got too that came out with a mod that I picked up yesterday. And then we'll be going, hey, wait, what? Mixed zones? Yep. Mixed zones. Actually, that works out brilliantly. Two. Yep, fours, 21s, 21s sunk to the depth, rotation 180, curve none, 176 meters length, that allows, actually I'm going to go slightly higher than that. No, 176 is enough to break out the big eight cars, so that can go right there. It's an, yay. I can trim this up a little bit now. Uh, maybe not that much. Okay, so. <laughs> Game go jank. So now that also means I can drop. No. Actually, I was gonna say that's a. Is this is. Yeah, there they are. So I need the big intercity bus station. Terminal. Yay. So we've got the interchange set up. It's a little bit further away than what I wanted, but there will be another reason for that. So they're there, they're there. Ah, oh, they're 21 meters though, so this is going to be... You know what? Let's... Do that. Uh, then one's going to be going. Well, that was a waste. Yeah. Well, unlimited money. So drop one there. And yeah, because that's going to be elevated anyway. So drop the second one there. Yep, so that's fine. up we go okay so that goes back to
Okay, so that's now the metro needs to be set. Now we've got it set for a four. I will hold it as a two for the for the duration. I could uh, no, let's run it as a four because I could split the line again later. So that should be twenty meters. Because what I haven't also factored in is the depots, although they technically don't work at the moment, so. that happens okay that's not gonna work okay, so I have to what's happened here okay we'll just have to come up Where are we at? Minus six. Let's make sure we don't have any steep drops in the track. Yeah, so we can... Oops. Uh, that one. I don't mind two stupid drops because it is the metro. So those tunnels are rendered too, by the way. Okay, so that's up that end. Ooh. Because you can technically, if I wanted to, drop another metro station in here somewhere, which is going to be very tempting to do. Problem is, I've just got to be careful what I... Uh, that is definitely on the wrong side. Um, can we... A little cuboid! Yes, Cuboid, you're awake when I'm streaming, Cuboid. It's very good to see Cuboid here. How is Cuboid this evening? So what we'll do is go create a f f uh, no, that's a straight. So what are we doing? Okay, now we go back to two. And we slowly start raising the tracks. And hopefully I haven't missed. Ready again for the day here. What is the time over there? 8 or 9 a.m.? Oops. And look, we're doing a cuboid. We're using Move It. OK. 
Okay, so those are the metros in place. I've got to do one in the city. Eight AM. So yeah, you're twelve hours twelve hours behind me at the moment. Are you guys still on daylight savings mode? Now this is where I get to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah, where I'm on... Yeah, okay, yeah, so that explains my twice. As soon as I go to GMT+, plus, uh, as soon as you drop, yeah, I'll be 13 hours ahead again. So I'll definitely bring him around. Okay. I am wanting to use this. Oh, excuse me. That's actually a good point. And I am going to use it. Trolley buses. And everyone's beginning to go, has he lost his marbles? Long time ago. Absolutely long time ago. <laughs> Rule of thumb, cuboid for workout daylight savings if we're on GMT plus 12 or plus 13 is work out when our daylight savings begins and ends. So as soon as daylight, uh, sorry, daylight savings begins and ends, shite. That was a good one. Work out when our equinox periods are. So, rule of thumb, um, it's either autumn equinox or Easter, which one ever comes up last, and then closest, and then around spring equinox. So, for you, autumn, spring, the other way around. So that's got that down. Let's connect up these roundabouts. So that's... So instead of using, uh, no, I'll use keep trams on the mainland. I won't use them on here. So we've got a metro that go shoots out here, and will obviously bend itself round, and it will shoot back out to the mainland. So that's fine. So he will run this way. This metro line is going to run, and he'll shoot out that way. As you know, it will technically terminate. Uh, no. Round and round it goes. And then it would actually follow down. And follow into there. This one would go... Do, 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 do. Out it goes. And he goes out that way. He would technically come round... Bounce, bounce the island, bounce over the nuclear island, nuclear 
and the string go that way. Got it. Got it. Uh, evening for those that have just joined us. Welcome to City Skylines. I'm Palpatine001, aka The Senate, and we are doing Neo Monaco, which is using the Boulder Cove map from the Steam Workshop. Okay, so that's there. That is there. Um, so we're just working out all our mechanics. Okay, so we've got um, trolley bus. Now the problem is with trolley buses is they need to loop. It's the only problem with the trolley buses is they need to loop like trams so I don't use all the transit options available in the game I will only use a select few so and I had trams in the last one so this one and we use trolley buses oh I can use trams if I wish they'll go on high volume lines so basically these bus lines get replaced out that said um, they can't run through that so I gotta be careful where I run them oh that said I can also use them to replace the trolley bus lines So he goes there. So I want to use it for the tourist attractions. I usually use trolley buses for tourist attractions because that's all they're sodden well good for. They're not good for much else. I can tell you that. Um, I could use them to... Ah, the only problem with starting your city is where do you want everything? Notice if we do the cruise ship harbour, these are a pain to work out at the best of times. At least it did that right. Hopefully that is, yeah, that way, so that creates what we call stacking capacity. So what I will do is he will have his own dedicated road and flip that over. Yeah, so that gives him stacking capacity in and out. Because cruise ships get uh, quite OP, they're quite overpowered, so. Ah, oh. that is a point because we've also got road hierarchy in play too. So nothing gets built on this, otherwise it's a case of yeah. Oh, cuboid! If you haven't noticed, the face cam's on too. Okay, so I think what we will do is run. Yeah. So. Okay. Now this is going to look a bit odd. Okay. No. No. Oh, fine. Whatever. Turn that around. Is that a two or... Th it's only a two. I might want to make that a three. Okay, so definitely make that a three. Hey, pumpkin head! Hi, say hello to the face cam. Yeah, you see the face of the Senate. Dr. Y was able to click, click it over last night and... Okay, so for some reason that is not working.
That is... Ooh, okay, that's gonna test patience tonight. How is Pumpkin? And yeah, we're working on Valhalla City at the moment. That reminds me, I need to take a save. Oh, doing well. Not bad for 8.16 in the evening. Thursday. It's been cold today, though. You wouldn't think it was spring. Okay, so the buses... Okay, so I do not want trolley buses going anywhere near those that main road. Um, could run it through there, run it here, because those are not going to work. Okay, let's give it a go. So we're going to give the trolley buses a whirl, again. This is either going to be the biggest pile of fail under the sun, or... So what we'll do is do that, set that off buses, okay, so what we will do next, what is that a two, yep, okay, let's go here, uh, let's train tracks. And then what we will do is so that gets actually to be run over. So two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. So run that as a ten, because I will make that a trolley bus only, so that drops down accordingly. He's doing his morning routine. He is inspecting move it ready to give the next better version to slay we'll just totally ignore it for the next three weeks is that about right q have i got that about right Actually, I could leave it as is, and we'll see how it goes, but, yeah. Okay, so then we can go... It is the city centre, so I've got to be very conscious of the roads I use. So this might be a case for my... I can't guarantee the sky. Ooh, yeah. I hate bars radio. Oh, it's that one. Mm. Okay. Now, I do need to connect that up. And I'm thinking that is actually going to be something else. Oh, do, do, do. So what we've got to do now is go, my asymmetricals are going to probably start kicking in. I 
I'm just trying to think if I use the asymmetricals or not. Uh, hello, son. How are you? Mini Palpatine has arrived. Hello, son. How's you doing? Are you playing peek Are you playing peek -a Oh, is that so? Hi. Yeah, hi, Mum. I'm going to fall off the chair if I'm not careful. Yeah, that's weak mix. Sanitarium weak mix. Yeah. That was an avocado. Have you got that, have you? Mm -hmm. Is that so? Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. Does Pirate ever sleep? Um, so, if I am going to do my asymmetricals... Doesn't matter for... Oh, yeah, it is going to matter. Asymmetricals mightn't work for this. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're mapping out the city center, and then we're going to work backwards. It's only 9.22 a.m. here. Ha ha ha. I'm just wondering if this one's going to work better, or... Uh, no, not that one. Or do I use... Because now I've got to anticipate my zones. I can't block the cars out of them because I've always... oh <laughs> someone getting called out for being snapped up late so what I'll do is I'll run these for the moment Um, no, I have an idea what. Yeah, no, I have exactly the idea what I want to do. I've also got to remember my street hierarchy is in effect too. So... Okay, so that's there. So next would be Yeah. this case this would be a shared space because it's a going to let me do them for once. So we've got the cycle lanes in there. Okay. Now if your figure is looking extremely disjointed, it is. And it's for a good reason at the moment because I'm still working out in my head at the moment. Usually this would be done on paper. 
the street hierarchies because what we have got tonight is a little special we have got the mixed zoning tool from kite which allows me to control what the zones do now hopefully oh if you guys are getting mid-roll ads let me know please because I know there's this whole th we have to roll ads every 30 minutes at the moment Okay, so I'll show you how this mod works. And in fact, there's a little tutorial that does it quite, quite nicely. Ooh. While I am going to get it. I didn't even register it. Oh, well that sucked. Oh. Yeah, that's because I triggered that one. Right, and we're back. Right, so let's get there. Yeah, so I've got a, a t mod that allows me to do mixed use zoning, which is like, yay. Oh, for, just one moment. The face cam's already on. Haha, <laughs> that's me not changing my points. Don't forget, you could use the bribery, bribery, <laughs> imperial bribery points as well. So don't forget to use those.
That's better. Okay. Okay, so that flows around there. That flows around there. This is one... Um, that is going to be done. That will be... Solely... A... And am I going to need to... Brace this? Technically, no. Done properly, no. This will not need to be braced. Oh, now wouldn't that be sweet? It's alright, I'll turn that around. So... Well, that works beautifully, actually. And that allows me also to slip in um, other lanes later on. Where is that one? So... It's a bit of a far one to cross. Yeah, it is a bit far to cross, actually. Okay, so what we will do... Okay, let's work this one out first. Go back here, go back to the main street. The one with the cycle lanes. Yeah, just got to be careful that does not cross out. Yep, so that goes to there. Goes to there. Okay, so that's good. That allows me to work back the bus lane. Technically, I want that. Okay, so that sits there. And that might just have to be a good old fashioned. Just give me a second to work this out. I know the road for this. No, the perfect road for that, and I've got it available. Excuse me. Bingo. So what we'll do is do that. Bring the bus lane down again. Okay, and then we just bring him back over. Go back. Whoops, wrong way. Yep, so that forms a double. Brilliant. So we'll take a save. And then I'm going to end up... Start, I'm going to do... Because I've got so many roundabouts in place at the moment, I am going to do... The lane mathematics on these roundabouts. Well, I remember. So this is going to be a bit of teetedom, but let's get cracking. Okay, let's do this. I'll set the speed limits later. Speed limits are not that important right now. So that's fine. That's fine. Uh, one. Two. Yes, that's fine. That is fine. Okay. Let's go back to here. That's that one. Do I need to do it to? Next one is the arrows. Um, might leave that as a four. In this case, that is definitely a. If I need to, I can make these four lanes. 
I think some of these are going to end up being four lanes right off the bat. And then our div ways. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so those are that. So that's that one done. On to the next roundabout. And do. So we're now we're doing the lane mathematics. Oh, more to the point, we're actually doing our roundabout. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. These are usually fine. Oh. Make sure those are set properly. Whoops, I forgot to do. I think because I already did this one. How oh, bloody obnoxious. Dedication to last week. The last two weeks, sorry. Where we had the almighty in game crisis in Stellaris. And yours truly of the Salarian Federation won. with absolute annihilation of the contingency which is basically how the contingency works is they are an extraterrestrial well part extra part extra galactic part not so what happens is they subvert oh they're a long extinct ai Species. And what they do is they subvert any synthetics in the galaxy for their own end. Basically you have TLD, TLDR version is the contingency is the Borg. So it goes out through a simulation of your galaxy. And if you've got fallen empires, they will wake up, which it did. It woke up all three of them, which wasn't a bad effort on this on their part. And with the awakened empires plus myself, we absolutely dog breakfast the crisis game. Also helpful when you've got two Colossus or two World Crackers at your disposal. One from yourself and one from uh, one of the Awakened Empires. It's just like, in the end, the VODs are up. So if you want to go and watch the VODs, which are at um, their full length at the moment, watch the last Stellaris VOD. You can just watch the absolute, complete, pardon me, trashing the contingency just got at the hands of my Empire. The poor sods never knew what hit them. Usually with an in-game crisis, depending on how crap you do, um, they'll spread halfway across the galaxy before you and the Awakened Empires get them under control. These guys didn't even get beyond three planets. Or three systems. I will leave that as is, but that needs to be dropped. Total damage to my fleet out of the 1,000 ships, including Titans and Carriers I had available. Total damage was 6 Corvettes, 4 Destroyers and 2 Cruisers. Wow. 
that was it. That's all I lost. Six Corvettes, four Destroyers, and two Cruisers. No Dreadnoughts, Titans, Carriers, or the Colossus was lost. In the, sk in the skirmish. And the difficulty level was set to Grand Admiral, if you are wondering. So we weren't pussyfooting around with this one. So the reason why that happened was twofold. One that I had, I was sporting over 5 million fleet power and f oh, with sh worth of ships. The Awakened Empires were only sporting 3 quarters of a million between them. I was, I ha had 5 million fleet power and the star bases were amassing uh, 3 million fleet power on their own. It was also with the contingent contingency as they only had escorts and battle uh, battle cruisers, so they had what were effectively uh, short ranged weapons. So what was happening was my Titans, uh, Titans, the Dreadnoughts, and the flagship were just city busy just picking them off at super long range with the super lasers. While the Corvettes and Destroyers were running cover fire, protecting the carriers. It made for a very short engagement, put it that way. And that was two weeks of doing Stellaris, and now we're back to uh, City Skylines. It's good fun. Oh, Stellaris. Be definitely getting the Necroids uh, species pack when it comes out. That is for certain. I don't need to worry about these yet because they've got nothing on them. Oof. And those were automatically done. Okay. So those are the roundabouts. Right. Back into this. I think for this one we're going to set this up as a do uh, no not that not this time this one and how's that going to run smack bang across the middle which is not going to be um, too bad because if I set that up for something else then it's not going to overtly bother me so how many ways out have they got so
Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay. So that's fine. So I can run one straight up the middle. In fact, if anything, those trolley buses are probably going to actually run it up. Ah, uh, no, we'll run them. Let's go watch if we don't get the one I had last time. One way in, one way out. Alright, let's continue with this. That's a metro, so that's going to be interesting to run. Okay, so what we'll do with that is uh, asymmetrical that. Good old asymmetricals, and yeah, leave that as a transit only because the buses will come flying up. That's so that's given two ways in. So that's one way. Uh, Got to be careful that doesn't. What I've got to watch is this doesn't cause a backup. So I've got to be very careful that doesn't yeah cause a backup. That said, I can also bring a secondary interchange down. Secondary interchange down here as well. So this slot would come in. Actually, this slot have more than one way in too. Hmm, ponder, ponder, ponder. See, I've got to remember street hierarchy is also equally in effect. So we can bring another ramp down. See, so I've also got to be careful because cargo is going to come flying under here too. So I've got to anticipate cargo as well. That said, with cargo, I can also bring that out as a secondary into here. That is a possibility. So that also keeps them off the energy. So we bring in 
one there and one through there so an expressway to form that and that brings them out of the, out of there because this lot will come down this way probably need another entrance in here which I am seriously contemplate the yeah, problem is these sit on the outside so I've also got to anticipate a metro line coming around so at the moment I have got the pencil out at the moment so we've got two entrances covered I could again extend this as a truck only as well but yeah that's that's guess okay, yeah because that's gonna run well the other way to do it is bring him up and oh see this is anticipating a main road It's another possibility is have that treat that as the four lane bring the intersection there hmm yeah I've got this okay so what we do is go wrong one yeah because it's go back bring back the asymmetricals uh, wrong way It's a nice big. Yeah, it's a nice. Big, uh, no, we will run that because that allows me to do a turn on the left. Okay, so that brings him down there. No, turn around that's a give way uh, what was that a parking one yep yeah then Bridget I, I shouldn't have trolley buses or transit access points crossing over a main road like that so they come down like that Now they will be dispersed by these roads as well and we've got walking paths on either side so it's not a so-called huge may uh major in itself in fact that might be a six liner which i'm gonna get so blasted by my planning contempor contemporaries for doing this but whatever
so the bus lane's now elevated. So if you're wondering, tomorrow morning I stream at 9am, so that is in approximately 12 hours time from now, from this mark. So yeah, so Friday is our day stream. Tune in tomorrow for more antics in the morning as we do our day stream. Dun, 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 dun. So that's that done. And they'll bring these up. Whoops. Thank you. Yeah, that might need to be a six laner. I'll have to weigh that off because it's also a short run too. So it could even be an eight laner. And I can hear everyone going, haha, what? So that comes round like, but, but there's also ways to see they would not make, actually, no, because they would not make a right hand turn because they would, um, I would force them to come out another way. So no, take out that right hand turn. Emergency service vehicles can still do it. So it's not a problem. So they're coming around and out they go. Technically they should not also be doing a right hand turn here either. Because uh, 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 uh. I can force them out using that road there. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do. Okay, so that's connected them up. That's got them connected. That's got them connected. So far, we are cooking with gas, and we've got more than one way in. And as there's they there's also say, one more than one way to skin a cat. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow's stream, which is the Friday day stream, we should be having our first zones down ready to go on Sunday evening to let rip. And we will be using the mixed juice zones that are available as well. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Bye. Uh, is that single one going to be enough or am I going to need to double it again? Probably a double it again. Yes, yeah, so more likely to bring that around and they can cross over just leaves this one actually this one will be she no so that is going to come down there and that is going to come down through there so he is going to come up around that might actually cut in 
go. Yeah. So it's going to double break. Uh, ooh. I'll think about it. Doom. <laughs> That's funny. That really is. Why don't I just... <laughs> oh, heck. Okay, so that's covered the freight way. And this I am going to run probably... Actually, probably shove a roundabout in there. Bring him around. Send him over that way. Because he needs to be in close proximity anyway. Hmm. Ooh. I better take a save. Checking the freightway might. Oops. Yellow. Yeah, the side is going to take forever. A slow save happening not good so the way you get hung up is freight there is another way around I can fix the freight problem too and that's using the interest city freight and that might be extremely tempted to do otherwise I'm shipping cargo a long distance and that's what burnt me in the hollows it was being shipped excessively into the city center rather than being localized so what i might do because there's the metro so we don't need to worry about the metro Uh, which is the intra-city and which is the inter? I think inter is on the inside? Yeah, inter is on the inside. Okay, that's good. So, what I can do... Oh yeah, because I've got these available too. Okay, is actually... Actually... Get a freight hub in here. Strategies. Strategies, my daughters tell me. Strategies. So I just need a single for this one. And that's got to be placed roadside. And now I've got to be careful. Okay. Okay, Tim. So that's going to be there. So you're right. Do, 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 do. 
Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so what way are those roads? Okay, so they're going to have to be a little bit different. So should be able to get them right about there. Now I'm going to sink that railway. So that's fine. Cargo. Shite. Okay, so I can come over another two squares. Womp. Womp. Try that again. Ooh. Yeah, it's the end of stream time too, so I will place this down. So that is going to be... Okay. Okay, so that is the cargo terminal done. Right. This is where I conclude the stream for this tonight. So we've come to the end of normal time. I will be back on tomorrow and just under 12 hours time. So I'm back tomorrow at 9 a 9 a.m. because Friday is Daystrom. Where we will continue laying down the infrastructure, ready to do the zoning on Sunday. And stay tuned to the Discord and as to here because we'll be getting ready to do our 12 hour stream sometime probably in November. Yep, that's right. We'll be doing a 12 hour stream. In the meantime, is it we got someone to raid? Hopefully KRX is still on. Please, 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 please. Thank goodness for that. I will join in. We will see you tomorrow for the day stream. If not, I'll see you on Sunday evening as per normal. All right, everyone. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow morning for the Friday day stream.